Hey, what's up Life Masters? This is Stefan James from Project Life Mastery. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a website from scratch in a matter of minutes. I'm literally gonna walk you through step by step by step the process in a screen capture video so that you can follow along and set up your own website. Now, if you're someone that's watching this that's looking to build your own online business, then you're gonna need to set up a website. A website is something that every entrepreneur, every online business owner needs because it's gonna be your brand, it's gonna be your presence online. You wanna have a website so that people can search in the search engines and find your website or that you can tell people your website so they can learn more about you, your product, your service, your brand, whatever it might be. So a website is essential uh, to have in building an online business and it's actually fairly inexpensive and it's easier to have a website today than it's ever been before. I know when I started many years ago, you had to hire developers and you had to learn HTML and coding and it was so much harder and more expensive to set up a website, but now it is so cheap and so easy uh, that I believe everybody should have a website and even if you're trying to figure out uh, you know, what kind of business you wanna build online, I still recommend setting up a website just to learn the process of it because um, what you learn in this process will benefit you when you do set up your business. You'll have that advantage and you'll be able to move that much faster. Okay, so I'm gonna get started now. I'm gonna switch over the camera so that you can see my screen and I'm gonna walk you through the steps. So when it comes to building a website, you first gotta know what is the purpose of this website and what kind of website do you wanna build? And in this video, I'm gonna share with you three different options. So first, let's say you're just a chiropractor or a personal trainer and you just need a simple website. You pretty much need a homepage, an about page, a services page, maybe like a testimonials page, a contact page, and maybe just a very simple blog. If that's the case for you, then a website builder like Wix.com can be a great option for you because they're very easy to use. They have tons of uh, templates and themes that you can you know, use uh, to create a simple website from. Very newbie friendly and, and Wix can be good for that. There's gonna be a lot of limitations by using Wix. That's why I said you, know, you gotta know if you're just trying to build a simple website, Wix can help you with that. Um, but that would be the simplest op option to get a, a website up and running. So for example, you know, this is their pricing plan. Starts from as low as about $14 a month. And then of course, if you actually have a business e-commerce, it can be 20, 25, $35 a month, okay? So that would kind of be like the most basic option for you. Uh, let's say on the other hand though, you're um, an e-commerce seller, like you wanna build your own web store. If that's the case for you, then I'd recommend something more like Shopify. Uh, Shopify is great uh, for e-commerce if you wanna sell your own physical products. Let's say you're already selling on Amazon right now, but you also wanna sell on your own website, Shopify would be the best bet for that. Um, they also have a lot of different themes that you can pick and choose from, some of which are free, others cost a bit more money, but I'd say they're the best for e-commerce. Um, you know, they have different plans that you pay for every month as well. So you could learn more about them, um, but there are gonna be some limitations in terms of customization when it comes to Shopify. You could hire a Shopify developer that can actually help you um, modify your website a little bit more and customize it a bit, but because you're depending on a platform similar to Wix, there's a lot of limitations that you'll have for it. Um, on the other hand, let's say you're someone that want, that's looking to build a brand, uh, you wanna do internet marketing, you wanna do maybe affiliate marketing, you wanna build a website you can really optimize and customize, uh, optimize it for like fast loading speed, you wanna do search engine, optimize, search engine optimization to rank it in the search engines, uh, you want to create an awesome blog, a lot of content on it, do a lot of marketing kind of stuff with it and not have as many limitations, then the best option for that is actually using something called WordPress. WordPress is free, okay, it's actually the least expensive option. The only things you have to pay for is the domain name and the hosting, okay? So, you know, you've got to pay for the hosting on Wix. Wix and, and Shopify provides the hosting for you and they might be able to provide a domain name for you as well. But WordPress is the best option. It's what I use for my website, projectlifemaster.com. It's what most of the biggest websites out there use. Um, because you can customize it more, it can be a little bit more technical, but I'm gonna walk you through in this video how to set up on WordPress and everything from scratch so that you can follow along with this if you'd like and uh, set up your own website, okay? So it's actually a lot easier than, than what you're gonna think. Because I know for me, when I started my website years ago, 
when I first started learning internet marketing, I had to learn coding and HTML and it was really expensive to hire developers. Today it's just so much easier and faster than it's ever been. So we have that advantage. Um, so first you're gonna need a domain name. Uh, you can use godaddy.com for this. Um, domain name, typically a .com is like $10 a year usually. Uh, you can get privacy for that as well if you'd like. Um, but it's pretty much fairly inexpensive. 10 bucks a year is pretty much nothing. But GoDaddy is great. You can buy many different domains through it. Uh, GoDaddy does have a website builder as well, but it's just not that good. A lot of limitations for it. Um, and then also you're gonna need hosting. So you'll have to link the domain name with your hosting. I recommend bluehost.com. Uh, Bluehost is great. And actually when you sign up with them, they'll actually give you a free domain name for the first year. So you save that $10 or so per year by using Bluehost. Uh, Bluehost also has a one-click WordPress install, so very easy to install WordPress, and they're very inexpensive, about $3.95 per month. That's the lowest plan. Of course, they do have higher plans as well. So Bluehost, I, I recommend, best for beginners, um, and it's fairly easy to get started with them. They've got great customer support. So inside this video, I'm gonna walk you through the steps, the technical details of signing up for Bluehost, getting your domain name, linking the two together, and then installing WordPress. And I'll give you a bit of a tour of how WordPress works, how you can find free, th free themes for WordPress or paid ones, and also the plugins, and start building a website and a blog and all of that, okay? So here on Bluehost, you're gonna wanna click on Get Started. By the way, I'll link to everything I mentioned below this video in the description um, so you can learn more. But I'm gonna start with the basic plan. This is usually, um, the minimum of what you need. With Bluehost 2, you can actually have many different websites. Like this one, it gives you unlimited websites. This one's just for one website. So we'll just start with this basic plan. I mean, the sign up process is pretty self explanatory. It will ask you to um, choose a domain name. When it comes to choosing a domain name, I always recommend a .com, not a .net, not a .ca, or .co.uk, or .au, or .co, or whatever it is, because you gotta think about building a brand. Um, if you are building a brand and you don't own the .com and someone else does, then it's gonna create market confusion. Uh, your followers, people that are gonna know you, the people that you tell your business and your website to, they're gonna get confused. They're gonna assume it's the .com but then end up on someone else's website. So imagine for me, with my business, if I didn't own projectlifemastery.com. Imagine if someone else owned it and my website was projectlifemastery.net. Well, a lot of my followers would go to the .com and they would think that's me when it's not and you don't want that to happen. You wanna own the .com, and that's gonna be a valuable asset as you build your business, if you wanna sell it, if you wanna scale it. Uh, you definitely wanna own the .com, and you wanna make sure that you're not violating a trademark, okay? So you doing a, like a US trademark search is important because if someone else owns a trademark for the domain name and you're violating it, they own the rights to it and you're using it without their permission, they can ask you to stop using it and they can come after you for all the money you've made by using that trademark without their permission. So real quick, let me show you a way of how you would do a trademark search. Just go to Google, type in US trademark search. I'll link to this website, but uh, it's the US trademark and patent office or patent and trademark office. If you come here to the website, you click on search our trademark database. You're gonna to wanna to trademark your brand name eventually, okay, so you own it, but you don't really need to spend the money and time on that initially. Once you've built up your website, you're gonna to wanna to do it. So for example, Project Life Mastery, I own the trademark for, right? So this is my brand, I own the rights to it, no one else does, so no one can use that name without my permission. If they did, I could go after them and sue them, and I own the rights to it. So making sure whatever the brand name is, you do a, um, a trademark search, first before you register the domain name so that you can own the rights. And then also here on GoDaddy, you could type in different domain names and kind of see what's available. Um, some domains, you know, 10 bucks or whatever a year, but others, some people own them, but you can actually buy them from them as well. I bought domain names from people as well um, just by reaching out to them or sometimes they have it available for sale on GoDaddy or websites like that, okay? So just make sure you can own the .com. Long term, you're also gonna to wanna to own the .co, .ca, .net, so you protect your domain and other people can't, you know, can't steal that and use it and kinda of confuse people in your, in your market, okay? So these are long term things. You gotta think about when you're first starting your business. I know right now it might be like, why even bother with that, but long term, you're gonna benefit from this thinking and it's gonna save you a lot down the road. So coming back here, um, let, let me just kinda of set up something 
just for demonstration purposes, lifemasterypublishing12.com. That's or x.com. That's just a bad domain name. I wouldn't have the x to it, but I'm just doing an, an example for you. If you already have a domain, you can link that here with your Bluehost. So I'm going to go to next. And of course, I'm going to put in my payment information, all that, so that I can register. So I'm just going to skip this part here real quick in this video. Okay, so I just signed up for Bluehost, just asked for my payment information, asked for a password. Uh, then it's just taking me to this page here where it's gonna ask me just some basic information because right now we're already now setting up the WordPress. So this is information that will be set up on your WordPress website. What is the name of your website? Okay, so just for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna call this Life Mastery Publishing. Uh, tagline, you don't have to have one, but um, how to publish online is what I'll put. Do you want a blog? Yes. Uh, display blog posts on the home page or a different page. I'm just going to choose the home page. You can change all this later. And do you want an online store? So if you do want to have an online store, you can also do that through WordPress, kind of similar to Shopify. Uh, they have WooCommerce, for example, which is something that you could use. In this case, I'm going to skip this for now. You could always add it later if you wanted to. What are the goals? Put in whatever that might be. I mean, you, you can actually skip this part if you wanted to, but this is going to help you to identify a theme that they're gonna to recommend to you that you could use. Are you comfortable with creating websites? So here they're already suggesting themes. So these are themes that I believe these ones are free. There are some that are paid and even ones from different websites that you could find. But essentially what you do is you would just kind of browse around for the different themes that might interest you. I mean, they have 532 pages of this. You can sort it by different categories. Um, really, this doesn't matter that much right now. You can always change this later if you'd like. Um, but uh, I'm just going to pick something simple for now. And especially when you're first building your site too, you don't need to worry that much about the look and the feel uh, and the design and the theme. Like at first, you just got to create something, create some basic pages, create content, get traffic to your website, and then you improve it as you go. A lot of people, they wait for everything to be perfect for them to start their website and they never begin. So. Uh, we don't want to fall into that trap where you're just working on it forever. Number one priority is to get traffic to your website and then you improve it later. And uh, otherwise, you can have a beautiful website, but if no one knows about it, no one's going to it, it's not going to matter or do anything for you. So um, people are going to come to your website first and foremost for the content that you have there. Um, there's two types of websites, a giving website and a taking website. You want to be a website when people come to it, you have something to give, something to offer, valuable content, something for free. That's what's going to get them coming back to your website. If you're just there trying to sell something, then most people are going to come to your website and leave. Okay, so it will offer domain privacy. This is where if you don't want to have your information um, of your domain name publicly available out there online, with GoDaddy and all the other platforms, privacy is an additional cost. Um, it's up to you. I, I usually always do this for my domain names, but when I first started, I was trying to save money. I didn't do that, so I'm just going to click. I don't care right now. Uh, turn off domain privacy. Don't really need that right now. And now they're going to kind of give me a checklist. And this is actually kind of new since I've last used this, where they've got a few more options and they kind of guide you through this a little bit more. So they've got a guide that uh, recommended steps that you can take to make it simple for you. Um, you know, you can see which ones you've completed. But let me just go here to launch my site. I'm just going to launch the site for now. It's recommending to kind of complete some things first, but I'm just going to click launch the site. Great thing about Bluehost, they'll automatically link your domain name to Bluehost versus if you have to sign up with GoDaddy, then you have to go through the process of linking it together. Okay, so this is just a basic website that was set up based on the, the theme that I picked. You can tell it's just very simple right now, um, but let me show you the back end here of WordPress where we can customize things a bit more. So this is kind of like the Bluehost dashboard, the back end. You can do your, web, your websites, the marketplace. You can set up your email address too. So like this domain, lifemasterypublishingx.com. If I wanted to have the email address stefan at lifemasterypublishingx.com, I could easily do that right here in Bluehost around email. Okay, so I could set up support at lifemasterypublishingx.com. You can set all of that up here if you'd like. You can get more domain names for other websites as well. 
Okay, but let me just kind of walk you through WordPress. This is the back end of WordPress. So this is, again, what the website looks like currently, okay? But here's the back end. This is where I can kind of edit stuff and customize things as much as I'd like. So a few things I'll share with you here uh, in WordPress. Uh, here, if I go to the post section, this is where I can actually create blog post. So if I come here to the site, you can see I've got one blog post. If I click on the title, this is the blog post. It's just a, a basic sample. And here's a comment that they just kind of have as an example of this. So if I wanted to edit this, I can come here and see all the posts. Click on edit. And right now they just have this temporary URL. This will change. This will actually be lifemasterypublishingx.com slash WP admin. Uh, but this is going to change in the next few hours. So here you can see if I want to write a blog post, it's very simple. This um, how to set up a blog, right? And hey everyone, my name is Stefan. Today I'm going to share with you how to set your blog or website. Very simple, pretty easy to use, right? I mean, if I want a bold text, I can do that. I can customize it in a lot of different ways. And um, there's just a lot that you could do here. But if I want to update it, I'm just going to click on update. And if we come back here, and let's just go back to the home page, you can see I updated the blog post. So very simple. Uh, here, if I had m other blog posts, it'll be listed here. So let me click on add new. how to set up a website. This is my second blog post. Publish. I can schedule blog posts too. There's just, there's gonna be a lot of features of WordPress that you can play around with and browse. That's one of the benefits, of course, of it, but um, uh, it can be a little bit overwhelming at times, but again, it's gonna provide so much great customization. The sky's the limit of what you'd wanna do. But here I can see I've got two posts now, and again, I can click on it to see more of the posts. Okay, so that's pretty much how posts work. Uh, you'd wanna create a lot of content. You wanna have content, again, when people come to the website, there's something for them to consume, something beneficial. You can embed YouTube videos there. You can add images. I could add, I could add a lot of different things to make my content a lot more engaging. Here's another important section known as pages. These are basically the pages, um, let's come back. The pages, uh, like the about page, the contact page, you're gonna to wanna to set these up for your site too. So first they have a privacy policy page and like a sample page. Privacy policy is something that is important on websites uh, because the search engines look for that when indexing your website, you'll rank better when you have a privacy policy. There's plugins you can get, I'll kind of go through that in a minute that you can do. Um, but let's just kind of set up a page. I'm just gonna put a boat um, on this page on this page, you can learn more about me and my, my company. Okay, so just something simple for now, just for a demonstration. This theme, uh, you might have to set up a menu, so let me just kind of see. Yeah, so here at the top, there's like a menu, right? So this would be the About page. I can edit this menu here if I go to appearances and menus. A menu is basically what you'd have here at the navigation menu, the top, and you can also have one in the footer. And this is kind of like a menu here as well. Okay, so let me just kind of show you this. Um, if I want to create a new menu, let's call it footer. And I want to add this about page to the menu. So I'm going to click on add. Okay, I'm going to click on save menu. And I can, I can have it actually be displayed here in the primary navigation. So let me actually, let me just call this the header then. Okay. And let me actually create one more page just to show you real quick. Contact, contact me here. And you can actually get uh, contact forms that I'll show you how to do as well, where they can submit the form, you know, on the website. And sorry, I gotta come back to the menu now. Let's see. Let me refresh this because there should be now a contact page. Yep, here we go. Add to menu. 
And there we go, save. And then if I refresh, it should, should maybe update, let's see. Okay. Yeah, about page, contact page. Right, so this is where I could edit that. So let me now share with you, um, if I wanna come to, you know, change the theme, for example, I can come here on themes in the sidebar. Here are themes that have already been installed, but if I wanna add a new one, I'm gonna click here. And here I can see themes that are featured that I can install. Just click a button to install it. I can preview it. So let me preview this one. And again, you can change everything. You can customize that whatever way you like. So you might have to spend a few hours doing that. But here I can change the images. I can change the text. I can change the positioning of everything. Uh, here's popular themes. Okay. Um, you know, there's premium themes that I could pay for as well. So some of these might cost a bit of money. And Bluehost actually has a marketplace that just brought me to where I can pay for some themes too. So usually when you pay, you get a, obviously a bit better of a theme. Um, but that's how you can change your theme. Now a cool feature is the widgets. Widgets allows you to kind of change things around a bit. Actually, let me go first to customize. You can customize the theme a bit here too. It'll kind of, guide you through changing the title that's up here in the tagline if I want to change that. The colors I could change a bit here. The header image, so if I want to change, there's no header image here, but if I wanted to add one, I could do so. Just click on add new image. Background image, if I wanted to add one, I could do that. Um, widgets, I can click on add a new widget, and let's say I want to add, let's see here. There's more widgets you can add, uh, they're called plugins that I'll get to in a bit. Let's say just recent posts. Let's say I wanna have something here that says recent posts. It'll display the last five posts on my blog. Here you can see I just added that here to the sidebar. So I can add these widgets to the sidebar here if I'd like. Um, and let me just kinda go back. I'm just gonna cancel this. Um, so here I can kinda add more widgets. These are the ones currently available. So again, recent posts I could actually just drag there as well and do it that way. But let me now just kind of go to, um, let's go to plugins. This is a really cool feature where you can add additional plugins to your website. So here's some that are already uh, currently set up and installed. Um, there's some important ones I'll just kind of mention real quick. Google Analytics, which comes with it, this will help you track all the traffic and visitors that come to your website. You will need to set up a Google Analytics account, which is free. If you just go to, um, uh, google.com slash analytics, you can set up an account and you'll be able to link it here. You usually just click on settings and it'll ask for like your Google Analytics code. Um, so this one's by Monster Insights. So it looks like you can just put in your lights. Uh, this one you actually might have to purchase. This is like an upsell, but let me just kind of go back to plugins and show you how I could install Google Analytics. Click on add new. And these are all plugins I can install, but let's type in Google Analytics. And here you can see these are Google Analytics plugins. You can see they have reviews, how many people actively installed it, how often it was updated. So um, this one's already actually installed, but I can install this one if I wanted to as well. Um, I'm just gonna install this simple one. I mean, the main thing to look for for a plugin is like the reviews of it. It's gotta have good reviews. And also, um, how often is it updated? I don't like plugins that haven't been updated in like over a year because then it can actually make your website a little bit vulnerable, which isn't good. So, um, so here I just installed uh, Google Analytics. I can click on settings. And here it should give me the ability to put in my Google Analytics tracking code. So you'd get this when you set up your Google Analytics account. Okay, so again, that's free to set up at google.com slash analytics. Otherwise, let's just go back here to plugins. Again, there's so much I can share with you. It's not gonna be that in depth this video, but uh, go back to add new. So many different ones that you can see here. Um, let me just go to popular. This is really the power of WordPress, is all the plugins available. So for example, contact form, 
So this would give me the ability to have a contact form on that contact page that I set up on my, my, uh, my pages, right? So I can install this easily, set it up, I can customize it. Yoast SEO, I highly recommend, everyone needs it. This will help you SEO optimize your website, your blog. For the search engines, SEO stands for search engine optimization. So you'd wanna install this, that's a must. Um, this is like an anti-spam for comments on your blog. Jetpack, I highly recommend. Um, I mean, you can browse around all these different things and play around with them. Um, a sitemap, definitely recommend, but you'll usually get that with Yoast SEO. A sitemap helps the search engines index your website. But I could have pop-ups on my website. I could add, add all these cool features. You know, when, really when you dig into it, it's amazing the things that you can add to your website. You can customize it any way you want. So the sky's the limit with WordPress and all the different plugins that are available. You could change the logo of the website. You can change pretty much everything. But if you're looking for higher quality themes and to really customize your WordPress, um, there's websites also such as Theme Forest. Okay, so Theme Forest is great. You can find lots of WordPress themes and templates. Um, so you could browse around here and find a lot. And then there's also um, Studio Press, which I also recommend. This is actually what I use for the project, projectlifemastery.com website. Um, they have premium themes that you can get. They've got a really awesome framework called Genesis. And um, you, know, you can really design some really great high quality stuff. And then also if you're just looking to be like hands off, you, know, you maybe want to set up the basics, but you're looking for a designer or developer to really customize your website. Resources that I'll share with you for that would be Upwork is my go-to place for finding freelancers. Uh, you can post your job and designers, developers can bid on the job and offer how much they'll do it for. They have portfolios that you can browse through as well. So Upwork is great for that, highly recommend it. You can find designers to design a logo for you as well if you'd like. Um, otherwise, you can also go to Fiverr.com. Fiverr.com is great to get um, a logo done fairly inexpensively, so I could type for logo and find all these people here that can do logos for me at different price points. I could browse through to see uh, the quality of the work, right? So I can see all the logos that this guy has done. Otherwise, another great website I do like that's a little bit more expensive is known as 99designs. This gives you the ability to put on a contest where all these designers um, they basically design a logo for you and you get to pick which one you like the best and whoever wins the contest is the one that wins the prize, your money, and you get to basically get a really high quality logo from that. That's how I've always gotten my logos done is by using 99designs. And there you have it. That's how you can set up your own website. I gave you three different options. Again, it's based on what your goals are and what you're trying to accomplish. The one that I recommend the most is WordPress. WordPress, even though it might seem a little bit more technical than the other options, it provides so much opportunity to customize it. The sky's the limit with what you want to do with WordPress. It's the cheapest option out, out of everything. Um, you can just do so much more with it, especially if you're trying to apply a lot of marketing skills that you might be learning. You want to optimize it for speed, for generating leads, for making money, for pretty much everything. So I use WordPress for all of my websites. Uh, not unless I was maybe doing like an e-commerce store, then I'd recommend Shopify for that. Wix is, again, I don't really use Wix, Weebly, Squarespace. Those are ones that really are just for people that just need like a quick, simple website, but it's going to really limit you if you're trying to do marketing and trying to really grow your business from it. So WordPress, I think, is the best option. Uh, if you want to check out Bluehost and uh, GoDaddy and everything else, click on through below. I've got links to everything that I mentioned below for you. Uh, Bluehost, to spend, you know, the best price, everything, click down below to get that. Otherwise, thank you so much for this video. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos like this. Make sure that you turn on notifications so you get notified of more videos from me. I've got a lot more awesome content here on my channel on how to build a business, how to do online marketing, how to sell on Amazon, how to publish books, how to do affiliate marketing, how to develop your mindset, the habits for success, and really developing every area of your life. So if you're looking for that, subscribe for more, and I look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Take care.